Good morning. It is day three, the last day of my fast. And um, last night, unexpectedly, I went to an art exhibition. Uh, someone came round and because they couldn't contact me via phone, they basically came round and said, Can, do you want to go to an art, ex art exhibition right now? And I was about to jump in a bath. So uh, I jumped in a shower and went, which was a... Um, a bit of an odd event, to be honest with you. There were trees in suspension, or would they call them suspension? No, I don't know. They were just hung from a ceiling. Anyway, it wasn't really my sort of gig, but it was a fun evening anyway. Um, when they raised the toast with champagne, I assume, I raised with my uh, toasted with my juice, and uh, I was quite tired by the end of the night, so came back and had a really good night's sleep. Really, really good night's sleep. I actually slept in this morning, even though it's still dark outside, as you can see. It was a sleep in for me. So, um, I've just had my organic lemon juice and a little drop of apple cider vinegar, warm. And uh, it's going to be time for breakfast now. I assume breakfast is going to be the same. Let's have a look. So, we have day one. I mean meal one. Oh no, that's meal two. Yeah, it's the same. So I have my little greens drink. Uh, just a little tad of chlorophyll. So kale, spinach, romaine, cucumber, apple, celery, lemon, parsley, and spirulina. That's actually different to what I've had on the other days, I think. I don't remember reading spirulina. Let's have a look at the other ones just in case. So meal two is my beets. Yes, we've had this one. Apple, carrot, beetroot, lemon, and ginger. And meal three is cucumber, fennel, apple, kale, spinach, and ginger. Okay. So I think, yeah, so um, I'll report back a little bit later and let you know how I'm going on, but I'm really glad that I had a good night's sleep. Oh, howdy. So, today's been an interesting day. Um, I went out to um, get, you know, run some errands, had to get some jeans. And uh, I, I went to do, went to go for a walk this morning and I just got out into the driveway and I thought, you know what, I just can't be asked, can't be bothered. And, you know, I feel really good in regards to my appetite. I feel fresh. Um, you know, physically, I feel light. But mentally, I'm just a little bit dragging, dragging ass, dragging, yeah. And I'd say physically as well, because even just trying the jeans on seemed like a fucking effort. Um, so these are weird things that I'm starting to experience, I guess, you know. It, it's weird because I do feel healthy. I do feel light. I do feel cleansed. But I am lethargic. There's no doubt about it. Um, so I picked up some snacks. I'm not going to have them today, but I thought great for the future where I will, you know, obviously have my fresh vegetables and fruits and stuff like that, but some healthy snacks. Now these are just vegetables in here, just dried vegetables, nothing else, no additives, no preservatives, no sweeteners, no sugars, nothing added to it. And it's the same with these dried apples. I haven't been eating them by the way. Uh, can you see these actually? Yeah, dried apples. So all that we have in here is uh, apple and organic apples and organic cinnamon dried out and that is it. Same with uh, some more vegetables here and uh, I've got some organic dried pineapple rings. Good to chew on instead of chewing on uh, popcorn. Sorry, I don't know if you can, if you look at this uh, organic dried mango, if you look at the nutritional facts, uh, you can see there's nothing other than organic dried mango and it goes for the apple here as well Organic dried apple rings and Just blueberries so you can put all these into a bowl and have it as a you know a mix sort of snack you know especially when uh, People are to come around and you to entertain or whatever it may be. This is a perfect antidote for them, you know but anyway, I'm not going to have them now. Um, sunshine has been digging into them now. I'm going to have meal four. So meal four for me today is kale, spinach, romaine, lettuce, 
cucumber, apple, celery, lemon, parsley, and spirulina. So uh, there you go. I got this and then two more meals to go. And uh, I really don't feel like doing anything other than sitting down and reading. My brain isn't very creative <laughs> at the moment. It isn't that energetic. Although if I had a computer in front of me, I'd probably get to work. Um, but just don't have anything else physically in me other than sitting on my ass. Good morning. So it is the morning of day four. I have completed three days of juicing and uh, I was very lethargic last night. I went to bed quite early. Uh, well, I usually go to bed early anyway, but I was like very tired early. Um, but no craving food, which is odd. And um, this morning, um, I have no real f f like need for food other than, um, you know, solid foods, I should say, other than, you know, I need more energy. I definitely need more energy, but I'm really glad that I've done this juice because I feel like it has cleaned my system out. I did spend quite a lot of time on the toilet. You know, I was pissing all the time, I guess, because my body has nothing solid to soak it up like a sponge. So every time I drank, I felt like I was pissing. So, you know, I was drinking all my juices plus one of these bad boys, you know, at least a day. Uh, which is a big bottle and you know I was drinking herbal teas on top of that so I just felt like I was going to the toilet a lot plus I felt that I was definitely regular uh, going to the toilet as well if you know what I mean and it, I just felt like my system had been cleaned out and I feel like I have kind of been reset I don't have any cravings for anything which I thought I would so maybe this has reset my body and my brain from any cravings that it was possibly having before um, so I'm really glad that I've done it. I'm going to go for a little walk now. I'm going to ease my way back into the proteins. Um, you know, I do mainly eat a pescatarian diet anyway. So uh, just, you know, instead of my usual 12 egg whites in my pancake this morning, I'll, I maybe go like five and have the majority being, um, you know, fruit and uh, you know, some oats in there as well. Um, yeah, so I'll just ease my way back into it now and just see how that changes anything. Hopefully they'll give me the energy and the want to go work out now. What did you just make there? I made you a pancake with pomegranate, blackberries, strawberries. There's walnuts in there, egg whites and oats. Oh, that looks Nummy. awesome. Nummy. And cinnamon. So in here I've got five egg whites. Um, about three quarters of a cup of oats. How much did you say is in a scoop? A half cup. Half cup. So I've got, yeah, probably about a cup of oats and, and fruit. I didn't want too much protein to begin with. I want to edge my way back in it and have the majority made up of some fruits and carbs and a little bit of healthy fats and walnuts and a little bit of cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. The cheese and topping will be today PB2. Here's something we prepared earlier. That's right. Alright. As well as reluctant as I am, I have to sooner or later switch on this phone. I'm kind of dreading it because of all the emails that I know that I'll have on it, even though I've got an auto response. And I'm assuming I'll have a load of WhatsApps and text messages, but I did post on my socials as well. And I did contact people to say, look, I'm not going to be reachable for the next few days. And you know, I'm hoping some of them haven't reached out to me. But we will soon see. And I tell you what, I've been so used to like, not having a phone or computer. I really like it. I really enjoy not having that, you know, and clearing my space in the brain. And I tell you what, I feel like I've been more present. That's for sure. So I've definitely learned something from this though, and that's going to be uh, not to check this phone every 30 minutes or so. Like I'm pretty good at, I don't check socials. I mean, I don't follow anyone else's feeds. I don't look at a lot of um, 
shit that other people are doing. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty good at that anyway. I've got 17 new WhatsApp notifications, nine WhatsApp. Oh man, a lot of messages are coming through here. I've got it on silent so I don't have to do with the wet noise. Here they come. Yeah, well, I, it was on silent. So, we have, wow, a lot, a lot of emails here, and that's from my private email account. I've got 43 emails in that one, and I've got 238 in my cage muscle one. Great. <laughs> and I have 35 WhatsApps. Pretty cool. And uh, your mum has been messaging me a lot. I thought she knew I was offline. <laughs> did she know I was offline? Yes, she did. Oh, okay. Well, she was the last person to message me. So back to my reality now. Yeah. That's it. Start sending Chris stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bring it all. Bring it all. I'm off my detox. <laughs> I'm here for you.